So there's several reasons why our oceans are in an alarming state. Overfishing is a real problem. We are going out and not taking fish for just consumption. We're now overfishing with trawlers, which are not only taking too many fish at any one time, they're also damaging the delicate systems beneath the oceans. We also have things like plastic pollution. We live in a disposable society, and rather than fix or recycle or remake, now what we're doing is just replacing items. For example, a plastic bag takes up to 1,000 years to degrade. What's also happening is that we currently have water columns filled with plastic, which then is broken down into microplastic. That microplastic will sink to the bottom of the ocean, and that will just cause a layer of plastic um, that will suffocate the bioorganisms that live on the ocean floor. In addition, fish and other marine mammals and also birds seabirds will eat that microplastic. It will go into their system and ultimately into ours when we catch them and eat them. And then of course the, the other big problem we have is climate change. We are looking at a massive problem here by removing our mangrove forests, which are actually the largest oxygen producers of all forests on this planet. We remove them for firewood, for development, and that removes also critical habitats. Marine conservation projects are vital right now. Science has now shown that civilian researchers, such as volunteers, are the way forward. In order for us to get strategies that will work, we need science-based data behind that. Volunteers who come to projects like any of our marine conservation projects that we run here at Projects Abroad will actually get the opportunity to be involved in data collection and research. That data will actually go to our local and in-house scientists as well as our international scientists where the data will then be produced into papers. Those papers will go on to produce reports that will lobby governments on a local and national level and even international scale to make the changes needed before it's too late. Everybody can make a difference and the first choices you can make are your consumer choices. So for example, only buy sustainable fish that you eat. Don't buy products that abuse our marine supplies of fish. Join local initiatives. If you hear of a beach cleanup going on, go there and support your local initiatives. In the future, I believe it will be because of our volunteer projects that change will happen. I have hope that when we bring together like-minded individuals who all are working towards the same goal, with that amount of energy and passion, we can make a difference.